Hello, I'm Alex Herman, and I'm a pharmacist and clinician educator at the University of New Mexico College of Pharmacy. In this video, we will be demonstrating injection techniques for depimidroxyprogesterone acetate, or DMPA, in accordance with pharmacist prescribing authority. Please make sure that your state laws allow for both prescribing and administration of DMPA before providing this for your patients. Marcy Smith. I'm here today. I would like to get um, some birth control here at the pharmacy. I just got a new doctor on my insurance so I don't have it all completely sorted out. Absolutely. We can definitely do that for you today. What I'm going to do is go ahead and pass you some paperwork here as well as a pen. If you don't mind filling out this paperwork here for me, once you've completed the paperwork, go ahead and come back up to the counter. We'll then step over into a counseling room. I'll go ahead and take your blood pressure at that point. And together we'll go over the different options that we have available. And again, together we'll figure out what is the best option for you. After completing all of the required documents by the New Mexico Pharmacist Prescriptive Authority for Hormonal Contraception, which includes an informed consent form and a self-screening questionnaire, the pharmacist has counseled the patient and performed a required blood pressure check. After a shared decision-making discussion about contraceptive options and family planning, as well as a review of the U.S. medical eligibility criteria for safety of contraceptives, the prescribing pharmacist has prescribed Plan B to have on hand for emergency contraception and Depo-Provera medrexiprodosterone acetate, or DMPA. Our prescribing team of pharmacists will now demonstrate three injection techniques. These will include teaching the patient to inject themselves subcutaneously with DMPA, providing an IM injection in the pharmacy or pharmacy clinic, and providing an IM gluteal injection in the pharmacy or pharmacy clinic. So now that I've uh, already washed my hands and put on my gloves, uh, we're gonna go ahead with the education on how to do the uh, subcutaneous injection at home. So like I said, first thing you're gonna do is wash your hands, make sure they're nice and clean. Next thing you'll do is you'll remove the syringe from the package and you'll shake the syringe vi uh, vigorously for one minute to make sure that everything is properly mixed up. From there, you're gonna hold the, the needle with the syringe pointing up, and you'll check to see if there are any air bubbles in the, in the liquid, and you'll gently tap to remove the air bubbles from the, from the syringe. Next, what we'll do is you will um, take one of the alcohol prep wipes, which we will provide with you. You'll open the alcohol wipe, you'll wipe the area, um, going from the inside to the outside, and then make sure that you do not blow or um, fan the area because we want to make sure that it remains sterile. And like we talked about, you can choose either the abdominal area or the upper thigh for the injection. And as you stated, the, uh, the abdominal area is your preference. The next step is going to be removing the, um, the cap from the needle. And what you will do is you'll go ahead and pinch the area, creating a tent on the skin. You'll insert the needle at a 45 degree angle. Then you will press down on the plunger for a five to, second, five to seven seconds. So quite a bit of time, make sure that you do it slowly, not quickly. After that point, you'll remove the syringe. You'll place this into your sharps container at home. And remember that you can apply pressure to the area, but make sure not to massage it or rub it as that can change the way that the medication is going to work in the body. to have you in today so today we're going to do the DMPA IM injection on you um, and also for this one since you are getting this form of birth control we do advise that you have plan B ready available um, just for the first week after we inject this medication just to make sure that you don't become pregnant accidentally or anything along those lines so with this injection the first thing I'm going to do is wash my hands with warm soap and water which I've already done 
I went ahead and applied my gloves so we can go ahead and administer this medication. First thing we're going to do to administer the IM injection is we're going to wipe the area clean with an alcohol swab. Once you do that, you're going to allow the area to dry. Be sure to not fan the area in order to make sure that it stays clean. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the needle here with the DMPA injection ready. First thing you wanna do is make sure that you have the needle up and make sure that there aren't any air bubbles in the syringe. If there are, you can just slightly tap that. In order to inject the shot, we're going to take three fingers and measure from the top of the shoulder to make sure that we are injecting the DMPA into the deltoid, make sure it's not too high or too low. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to remove the cap. Once we measure the area, we're gonna hold the skin taut like so, and then we're going to inject the needle at a 90 degree angle. Once you do that, you're going to inject the DMPA over five to seven seconds. After that, you remove the needle and you place it into your sharps container. And once we have that completed, just be sure to not rub the area because um, that can change the chemical structure of the medication and make it to where it's not as effective. You can just apply light pressure to help with pain there. And after that, you're good to go. So now I'm gonna show you what you can expect um, if you do get the gluteal injection of the DMPA injection. What I will do first is wash my hands, which I've already done, and make sure to put um, gloves on. And then I will um, split the buttocks into four quadrants, and I will choose the upper outer quadrant of the buttocks to inject, which would be right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an alcohol wipe, and I will wipe the area from the inside to the outside, making sure the area stays sterile. And I'm gonna let that dry just for a couple of seconds. Um, I'm not gonna blow or fan the area just to make sure it does stay sanitary. Then I will grab the injection from the package and I will make sure that the needle is pointing upwards. Additionally, I will check to see if there are any bubbles within the syringe and if there are, just slightly tap them out so that the full medication goes directly into the buttocks. Then what I'm going to do is take off the cap and I will put the, um, my hands here and make sure that the area is taunt, like so. And I will inject at a 90 degree angle. And for this injection, I am going to aspirate a little bit to make sure there's no blood. And that just me uh, makes sure that I am not in a blood vessel. When no blood is confirmed, I will continue to inject the buttocks slowly until all the medication is injected. And then I will remove and throw into the sharps container. Thank you. Those were some really great examples of technique and options for your patient. Um, also, I wanted to talk about some additional info for DMPA if you're going to be prescribing in or injecting this for your patient. So the first thing is the best time to initiate this injection is on day one of a patient's menses or up to day five of their menses. So those would be the best times to start this injection. It's also really important to rotate the injection site. And that way the patient doesn't have excessive pain in any one area. So if you can remind your patients to do that, if they're doing self-injection or write down in your clinic what site you did so you can remember, and that way you'll know where you did it at the last appointment to rotate it at the next and upcoming visit. Also, um, we do wanna make a note that after two years, of using DMPA, you should assess that patient's bone mineral density to make sure that this isn't affecting it too much and make sure that they're still eligible for use. So it's really important to just keep an eye on that every two years or so. Um, also, it's important to recommend backup contraception for the patient, especially in the first seven days when starting this new therapy. If a patient is late, especially also backup contraception is important to remind the patient as well. But if the patient's adherent with all their appointments, the backup contraception is not needed. Um, lastly, the most important thing is we found studies and there's evidence that after injecting, if you massage 
the area, it can actually change the drug structure and then therefore um, also change the absorbency and effect potency of the drug. So you do not want to massage the area, unlike we see with vaccines where we do massage the area where we give the vaccine. We don't want to do that with DMPA because it can change how the drug works. So it's important to not massage the area where the DMPA is given right after injection. Thank you for watching and for your interest in providing hormonal contraception for your patients. We hope that you will feel confident prescribing and administering DMPA for your patients in accordance with New Mexico Pharmacist's prescriptive authority. This video was brought to you by the University of New Mexico College of Pharmacy. Pharmacy is the future. Go Lobos!